Hello everyone, welcome back. So today we'll be talking about Lab 2B, which is managing governance via Azure policy. So if we talk about Azure policy, it's a definition that is created in Azure policy, is a rule about specific security conditions that you want to be controlled. So built-in definitions include things like controlling what type of resources uh, can be deployed or enforce the use of tags on uh, all these resources. This is one topic of policy and you can also create your own custom policy definitions. So coming to the tasks that we're going to perform in this uh, lab, the first one is we're going to create and assign the tags via Azure portal. The second one is en ensuring the tagging via Azure portal. The third one is the tagging via Azure policy. So let's go ahead and start. So before that, let, uh, let me talk about tags as well. So tags are metadata elements that uh, you apply to the Azure resources. They are key value pairs that help you to identify the resources based on the settings that are uh, relevant to your organizations. So saying that, let's jump into the video. So if you see here, this is the architecture diagram. So this is the architecture diagram that uh, we're gonna do today. So these are the tags that we're gonna implement for uh, Cloud Shell resource. And uh, the second one, we're gonna implement the policy where we'll be in enforcing these tags. So for example, if you try to create a resource, uh, create a storage, then it will be rejected because of this policy. So that is what task two that we're gonna perform. And uh, coming to other, we're gonna create an Azure policy which inherits the tag. So let's go ahead and uh, start the lab. So initially, let's go to the cloud shell. So here we have to identify the name of the storage account uh, used by the cloud shell. So for that, we have to use a command called df. So let's wait for it. Just df. So you can see here you have to copy this. So this is the one that uh, we're going to use. So if we go back to the storage, so let's minimize this. And let's go back to the storage. And you can see this the storage uh, that we're talking about. So here, if you click the storage account, so here you need to add the tax. So this section called tax here under the active block activity log so click that so already i have added this just to save the time so make sure you add it and apply it so once it is done go back so now we have to perform the task two which is enforcing the tags via azure policy for that we have to go to the policy go back to the home page and you can see the policy you can just type uh, in the search bar click the policy and uh, you can see there are other policies too, but you have to click this. And uh, here you can see under authorizing, there is a definition section. So click that. And here, here we have a lot of uh, built-in definitions. So let's search for the tags. Hmm. Cool. So we don't have any tags for the search. So let's go back and uh, let's search in the categories. There you go. So let me deselect this and you can select all the tags. And when you select this, you can see there is a section called require a tax and it's a uh, value on the resource. So click that. So here you can read the JSON file if you want and assignments and stuff. So right now I'm going to assign this. However, I've already done it, but let me show you how this is done. So coming to the scope, this will be our uh, subscription level and coming to the resource group, that will be Cloud Shell Storage East US. That is the one which we talked before. So you can click that and uh, you can select it and you can add in description that you want. You can change the assignment name if you want. So I'm just checking whether uh, I have the name here. Yeah, I do have the name. So let me copy here. 
paste and come into the description let me add the description paste and make sure the policy enforcement is enabled if that is disabled then obviously that will not work so saying that if you go back to the parameters here we have two sections uh, tag name and tag value so let's paste the tag name which is the role and coming to its value it's infra that we have used for the first storage the cloud storage that we have seen so if you go back to the remediations so the settings can be used uh, when the policy or initiative includes the deployment does not exist so if this includes we can use that but uh, right now it doesn't require you can read more about this manage identity and stuff so right now we'll just leave it default and coming to non-compliance message you can add uh, any messages that you want here but right now I'm not creating anything but just go and review and create so it will be done so since I've done it I'm not uh, creating it right now so if I go back here and if I go back to the assignments you can see it's already there so that is the reason I'm not creating now so let's go back and let's go to the storage accounts and let's try to create one now you can see we have enforced the law I mean enforce the policy <laughs> so we have uh, enforced this particular policy and now let's try to create a new storage account without using the tags so when we don't use the tags there will be a policy which uh, stops it so we'll not able to create that particular storage so if I go back here if I click create and uh, it's subscription make sure you select the appropriate subscription and it will be the cloud shell storage is US so this is what uh, we are working on so I'll just leave everything as default and try to review it create it so when you try it it will be failing because of the policy because we are not use, uh, using any tags here so let's try you can see the violation has been failed the required information is missing or not valid so you can see a red marks here so let's go to the tags here you can see policy validation error so policy enforcement value does not meet the requirement on the resources Microsoft storage storage accounts the field tag name role and the value infra is required so if you want to create this particular storage you have to use this role and infra when you use this it will be created else it will not so that is one of the example uh, just shown in the github so now let's apply the tagging via azure policy if you go back if you go back to the policy under authorizing assignments so here we have used this policy now we'll delete this yes successfully it has been deleted now we can create it uh, without any uh, failure notifications for now i uh, hope you guys understood the concept of managing governance via azure policy so in this lab we have performed creating and assigning the tags via azure portal and enforcing the tagging via an azure portal so in the next lab we'll be applying the tagging via azure policy so yeah hope you guys have understood uh, if you have liked the video please click the like button below and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video thank you